Welcome to another tutorial on 40 Gate Firewall. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can configure a black hole route and the scenario where you can use the black hole route configuration. So on my screen, you can see this is the 40 Gate Firewall 705 version. And inside my static routing table, you have a default route pointing to port 1 and the gateway is 192.168.0.1 and I have I'm going to create a route for the destination 8.8.8.8 pointing to my DNS server through the interface port 3, click OK, OK. So now when this particular interface is up, the traffic for 8.8.8.8 will then be processed by the gateway 10.10.10.1 10, 10, 10, and firewall will follow the traffic for this destination through port 3 to the gateway 10.10.10.1. 10, 10, 10, if this particular interface is down, then the firewall will use the default route to forward the traffic to the gateway device, which is 192.168.0.1, which is my ISP device. And in certain scenarios, because of the number of clients that I have in my network, it is going to choke my perimeter device, which is my ISP device. And in worst case scenario, it can force the perimeter device or the ISP device to reboot because of the traffic volume. And to avoid that situation, what we can do is we can create a black hole route so that firewall itself will try to black hole the route for black hole the traffic for the destination 8.8.8.8 on the firewall itself rather than using the default route to push it out via port 1. So let us bring down the port 3 just to show you how it will look. So this is my CLI. So you can see here, the static route is inactive because my port 3 is down and thereby forcing the firewall to use the default route where port 1 and the traffic will then be forwarded to 192.168.0.1 which in my case I do not want that. So what I can do is I can create a default I can create a static black hole route and to do so I'll show you first using the GUI go to static route click on create and Click on interface, choose the black hole interface. Put the administrative distance a little higher from the one that you have already configured. Okay, so now we have two similar routes, specific route for 8.8.8.8, which is First one pointing to this particular gateway 10, 10, 10, 1 through port 3 and another one pointing to the black hole interface. So in this scenario, when my interface is down, let's try to see what we have in the routing table.
So you can see here, instead of uh, taking the default route, it is now taking the backhold route with the AD of 11. And you can see here, it is showing the interface as null, which means the firewall is going to black hole any traffic for the destination a dot a dot a dot eight on the firewall itself. I'll delete this and I'll show you how you can do it from the CLI as well. So after deleting the black hole route, you can see here firewall again trying to use the default route to send the traffic out. And I'm going to create a black hole route using CLI. Config router static. So This is the destination. Set black hole enable. Set the distance. So this is the configuration. Now let's try to check the routing table. So you can see here, it is choosing the black hole route that we have just configured using CLI. Instead of the default route. That's all in this video. See you in the next one and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Bye-bye.